In Christian Gonzalez's first two starts in the NFL, he's covered A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Tyreek Hill, and Jalen Waddell. That's about as tough as it gets for a rookie corner, and he's come out of that with a pass breakup, an interception, and the sixth highest PFF coverage grade in the league. And I thought there was a clear improvement from week one to week two. Against the Eagles, they were kind of trading shots back and forth, but in the Dolphins game, I only charted one true loss. There was a dig route from Jalen Waddell against off coverage. Other than that, he was playing press man against both of Miami's receivers, and he didn't give up much of anything. We're still in that stage of the season where I don't want to make any conclusions about these players, but through two weeks, Christian Gonzalez has been the best rookie corner, and he's had the most difficult assignments, so he's definitely passed the eye test. So like I said, his first game against Philadelphia was much more of a mixed bag. He gave up seven catches for 71 yards on 10 targets, and I would probably say the Eagles' top two receivers collectively won that matchup, which is the expected outcome for a rookie. But he was playing some very conservative off coverage, so he gave up a lot of cheap yards where based on his alignment, he didn't really have much of a chance. And he still had plenty of good reps. Right here, it's fourth and four. He's covering a slant from Devontae Smith. Really quick break out of a standstill. He establishes contact and undercuts the route, almost gets an interception which would have cost the Patriots 10 yards, but this is a game-changing play against one of the best route runners in the NFL. When it comes to vertical routes, I don't think Christian Gonzalez has lost a single rep through the first two weeks. Right here, he's in soft shoe press on AJ Brown where he isn't jamming immediately. He kick slides with the outside release and then transitions once Brown accelerates downfield. In this situation, you wanna punch at the inside shoulder to stay on top of the route, but the receiver is gonna try to wipe his hand down. So he does a good job being patient here. Once AJ Brown has his hand down at his wrist, he punches and then quickly draws it back in, waits for the second wipe, and then replaces his punch. So great job by Christian Gonzalez of hand fighting down the field. On this play, he's more aggressive at the line of scrimmage. He jams Tyreek Hill immediately and stays attached for the entire rep. You could probably argue that this was a hold. He's definitely making contact past the five yards, but I have noticed that if a corner wins at the line of scrimmage and establishes contact early in the rep, refs are a lot less likely to throw a flag for keeping that hand placement. Right here, he's got Devontae Smith running a double move. Great eye discipline by Christian Gonzalez. He keeps his eyes locked on the receiver's hips. He doesn't crash too aggressively when Smith throttles down. He maintains some cushion and stays on top of the route. Devontae Smith gives a fake inside, but Gonzalez doesn't bite on that at all, and then he gets in phase, and Smith can't stack him downfield. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and also follow us on all of our social medias. The links to those are in the description. The Patriots had him play a few snaps at safety, and he made this incredible interception in week two. He's covering the deep half. I don't know if he sees this wheel route from Tyreek Hill, but he drifts inside and gives Tua a lot of space for this hole shot. The ball's underthrown, but Gonzalez is able to flip his hips and maintain speed and then box out Tyreek Hill for the interception. Looking at the plays he gave up from the first two weeks, like I said, there were a lot of times he was in off coverage, giving a ton of cushion, and he got beat on a dig or a quick out. The easiest way to stop this would be to get closer so you can make contact at the route break. If you're playing outside leverage 10 yards off the line of scrimmage and the receiver breaks inside three yards in front of you, there aren't a lot of NFL corners that can cover that consistently. But if you are going to play with that much cushion and try to stay on top of everything, you've got to be able to crash downhill and tackle because the whole point is limiting big plays. Right here, he takes way too wide of an angle on Devontae Smith, who easily spins inside and gets the first down. On this play, he's in press coverage on AJ Brown. He gives him the inside release because he's got linebackers and zone coverage over the middle, but he doesn't get in phase and he over pursues inside. AJ Brown sits and then breaks out, and it's just really hard to stick with a route like this if you don't make any contact and you can't feel out the break. And then final play, the Dolphins are running this play action glance concept they always run. Gonzalez is keying to his drop here, so he's reading his footwork, and if it's a three-step drop, the ball's most likely coming out fast, so he needs to get his eyes on the receiver and try to cut off the route. I don't know why Gonzalez turns his hips to the sideline like this. Miami runs so many in-breakers off of play action. He's got to stay square and give himself a chance to plan and drive over the middle. So there's definitely room for improvement with his press footwork and playing routes a little bit tighter from off coverage, but overall, I'm really impressed with what Christian Gonzalez was able to do in his first NFL action covering two of the top three receiving duos in the league. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.